Hello everyone. Today I wanted to do, I call them dirty paws I'm, and I wanted to just show you how I do them. I'm going to be using these colors which is a cobalt blue or pink. This is called marina which is kind of like an aqua and then there's a, a sea green which is a bit like a phthalo green. If you're enjoying what you're watching please go ahead like subscribe comment i really appreciate it and i love seeing your comments and everything and if you're interested stick around to the end because i do have a surprise for you but yeah let's get started so i've mixed up my two little cups um and the reason why i've mixed them into two cups is because what when i start these i've found in the past you know you start and you get strong color and then as you keep going by the time you get to the end, the mud, the colors in your cup have really started to get quite muddy and it's not really very, doesn't look really nice. So this is why I put it into two cups because then I can kind of control the color a little bit better. So I'm gonna get started with the one cup and then we'll sort of see how we go. Quite nice colors. Trying to push more to the edge there. Hoping you can see what I'm doing. So I've got quite a bit left still in my cup. I'm just gonna come back in here. I find too, if I put it in two cups like this, then I've got the sort of luxury of playing around with my composition a bit, if that makes sense. I've got a bit more paint to move around. So I might keep what's in the cup there in case I want to touch up the sides a little bit. Help this paint to sort of drag down a bit. Oops, I'm gonna to have to tip that bit off. So when while I was standing here, I've dropped a little piece into the paint, which is not going to make it look very nice. So I'm going to have to definitely tip that bit off. Now I'm gonna get started on this. So I'm going to go back into the center. So I've got the same kind of color matching up in the center. And then I'm going to go back out with a deeper green. But see, see the slightly different colors because this cup has sat for a little bit longer. Still looks nice though. Again, I'm going to use up some of the color in the cup. Just help this paint to move over the edge. So I also don't lose a lot of paint in the process. I still got quite a bit of. I'm wondering if I should do a line of green through here only because I've got a lot of green on either side and then this is a slightly different color combination so I think I'm going to just drag that through the center there might have made a mistake but it might not matter once I've opened it all out so now I'm going to start move you know I've got to cover my edges so I'm going to start moving some of that paint off. Just slowly moving it back and forth. It's funny, every now and then I find with canvases you get, they get like stubborn. The paint gets stuck in spaces. And it won't move. So 
before I really keep stretching my paint any further, just want to close up these bits so I'm not pushing my paint too hard and trying to close up these, you know, sections like here. Like that section is just not wanting to move. So, oh, sorry, you're not going to see that. I just want to help that paint to push over more. But I am liking what I'm what's happening here. Now I just want to push. So I can do one of two things. I can keep this composition like it is. I'm going to do because I'm quite liking as I'm stretching these lines they're doing some interesting things on the edges sort of tempted to am I do I want to go do I want to do I want to You know, I think I want to just keep going back and forth a little bit more. Just push a bit more off, and then that's basically I'm done. I have actually used a lot of paint in this painting, which is, I don't usually use this much paint in my um, dirty pores. So um, it's just interesting that that's happened. I've got some sort of a blob or something there. Just hoping I can match that so it looks, I think that'll drag off the canvas as it dries. So that's not too serious. I think I might torch it as well because I think it'll open up a couple of cells. Not that I was really looking for cells. But there's some interesting stuff happening there, so on both sides. So I feel if I open up both sides, it'll just add to the effect. So I like the color combination. I think it's nice. I probably would have liked to see a little bit more of the pink come through. Well, that it's not a vital to me. I think it actually looks really pretty. I'm wondering how it will dry though, because sometimes this green dries very dark. So it'll be interesting to see how it dries. So I wanted I wanted to bring you in for the to just show you a close up of this. It does actually look really nice. Like it's, it looks really good. I think um, I'm quite keen to do another one of these because I I use about a hundred. I used about 180 grams of paint, and I actually think I might use a little bit less paint next time because I want to maybe stretch out my uh, rings a little bit. My you know my lines. I really like these uh, dirty pores or ri ribbon pores. I I just think they always look really nice. Thank you very much for watching i really do appreciate it and if you like what you're watching please like comment you know subscribe and i did mention that i had a surprise i have actually got an e-course it's acrylic pouring fluid art for beginners it's available on udemy i'll include the link below if you're interested in learning more about acrylic pouring then yeah go and have a look go and check it out thanks for watching so I just wanted to show you that I actually changed it. Uh, I poured it and I noticed that when I sort of looked at it again, there was a line here that I that had actually, when I had originally poured the ribbon pour or the dirty pour, I'd come across and then it just looked didn't look nice. So I decided I didn't like it. 
So I stretched it a little bit further and I really like this. I think this has come out really nicely now. So I just wanted to show you. I also wasn't sure about, I used quite a lot of paint for this particular painting. So I'm quite keen to do another one with less paint and see how it turns out.